look up, not a cloud in the sky, but how they appear without warning. When you came along and I sang you a song, I couldn't be wrong. Do you like my dog hair sweatshirt? It's really nice. I like that. It's like mohair, but dog hair. Nice. Super fancy, right? I know. <laughs> I just had a power nap. It was so good. Wow, 7.30 a.m. power nap. <laughs> I know. <sighs> I really like your chair. You did a really good job. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm super happy with him. Mm -hmm. Should be. Yeah, thanks. Birdie's chirping away. I know, it's so beautiful, eh? Mm -hmm. Time to get to work, eh? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Sanded them, yeah. I sanded them, and yeah, that's it, really. But I mean, I took a, a rough sander to them, and then um, I took a fine sander and feel. Can you hear that? Like a baby's bum. <laughs> and these Adirondack. And they were they Adirondack. Adirondack chairs. I tried to get someone to build them for us, but it was because of the price of labor of wood right now. It was going to be like three to five hundred dollars per chair. And it was going to take about a month. And then I saw a kit at Home Depot. So I bought it for $65. Was it Home Depot or Costco? Uh, they have them at both places. $59 okay. at Costco. And anyway, regardless. Um, and um, yeah. And then I thought I would just sand them down to make them a little like more pro. Because they look like a kit before. And then uh, now I'm going to stain them and which and finish them and there you go and the one other thing that you did which i thought was really smart is, is not just screw them together you oh, use I used no nail like you like, know that kind where you can like glue your hard hat to the wall <laughs> and apparently hang so I, mean, anyway, I think it's that. it's like a like a it looks like it's a little page is no white glue but it's yeah, no yeah. nail and uh, our friend Diogenes helped us. We got it down to our first one, I think took us like 35 minutes to put together. And then by the end, because we split it up over two days, the last one took us 19 minutes. Pretty good. Uh, 17. Wasn't 117? Come on, 19. I think we did. Right, Whatever. 19 still Splitting pretty good. Hairs. And they're super solid. I thought for 50... Solid as a rock. Sorry, Joe. Oh, I have to edit that out now. <laughs> That's what I love is you know it. I don't know how it goes, but in my head, that's what plays when certain words. I'm not, I'm not recording. Quiet. <laughs> Here are my chairs. I put some stain slash um, protector on them, but I don't love the color. They still look way too new. And so I'm trying some mixture. This is on the left or some, a mixture of T3 
tea. Well, it's just tea, tea bags, really strong. And then I'm gonna brush them with that to give them a bit of color. And then something magical is supposed to happen with steel wool and apple cider vinegar. So I'm letting these both sit for 24 hours. And then um, I'm going to work on the chairs and see if I can't make them look like they have aged by like 30 years. So stay tuned. Okie dokie, it's tea time. All right, I'm going to start painting the tea on and hope that it sinks in. We'll see. I wish everything was simple. I wish all I had to do is wonder all love's unsolved riddles. Believe in you. I wish everyone was happy. Okay, so as you can see from this chair, I have put the uh, vinegar steel wool concoction on it and that's been about 10 minutes. It's just been sitting on there and it is totally, it has totally changed colors. So I'm gonna do this one. experiment slash gong show um, thing going on here. That's what I have going on. Um, this is an apple cider vinegar steel wool mixture that I'm putting on these chairs. I've already stained them with tea and I've actually stained them with a sealant color, even though you can't tell that's already sealed and stained, but it still looks like pine, which I don't like. First of all, what, what, are, you, what are you doing it for? How can you, how can we do it? What do you mean? So we have somewhere to put our bums. No, but why don't you just leave them the way you bought them? No, because they look like crap. They look like cheap chairs. So what are you trying to do? Well, I'm trying to make them look like they're 30 years old. Oh, okay, <laughs> smart. Okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, this is my, this is what it looks like. I don't know if you can tell, look up close. You can see, it looks aged, I think. So it's, it's tea. Tea first, and then there's a mixture of apple cider vinegar and steel wool. You don't rub it with the steel wool. Oh, it's pretty cool, actually. Yeah. There's Leo back there looking at the <laughs> <His> nads. <laughs> Way to go, Leo. Okay, so that one has nothing on it. No, it has a little bit of... Spice. It has tea and the stain, even okay. though it doesn't look like it. Okay, here are the chairs now that I'm done with them. Leo's just going to inspect them for me. Thank you, Leo. I think they look pretty great. Age just enough. Anyway, we're pretty happy with them, aren't we, Leo? Mm -hmm. Aren't we? What's good there, Dondi? A freezy. <laughs> How old are you? Fifty-one <laughs> years young. And what, what's the flavor? Um, well, I, I've changed since I was a kid. It's no longer the blue, like you know, make your tongue blue. This is a all fruit, super fruit mango um, freezy, all natural. And you want to know something else? What? Something that you're going to be really surprised about? What? There's towels on the on the, on the thing right behind you. Oh my god. Well, at least it's laundry. It's not just one single towel. Oh my god. There's always going to be something in the background, isn't there? Yes. Uh, do you want some freezy Leo here? We don't have a dryer, so you will always see clothes there. Oh, look, Leo likes a freezy. Good, ain't it, Leo? Can you go freezy? <laughs> Sit back. What do you say? Good boy. <laughs> <laughs> so cute, eh? Okay, rather than fight it, I am going to show you my laundry in the background. There's always laundry in the background, pretty much every day. 
that you'll see that. Anyway, that's a good t-shirt though. That's from our friends, JP Farms. Anyway, I am going to take you on a tour of the Airstream. I know, long overdue, right? But I kept waiting for it to be perfect, but there is no such thing as perfect. But it is clean, the bed is freshly made, and um, yeah. So again, it's a 1976 Airstream. It says international, I don't know. Joe said maybe it's a sovereign or something, but I don't know, but that's it. So let me take you inside. Our nice sofas that we had redone because they were the originals from 1976 and um, up close you could tell but um, they look great now and here this is a little this is a little table here that we can pull out and it goes all the way across as a workbench or um, or a table and um, a little stool that we had covered just a stool that we bought at winners actually and had it done in the same material and then this is all storage, extra storage for things. Just trying to maximize all the space in here. These are the original um, overhead cabinets and the clock and everything works. It's a cool lampshade that I got from Germany. It's an old sail. And in here we have our sound system, which doesn't look like much, but it um, is a surround sound and it uh, really is quite awesome. And then over here, oh yeah, here we have our, um, all our power. So it's not just right on the side here, like most, you know, RVs and stuff have it all here, but we wanted to hide it away. A little more discreet looking. And then our oven and our cooktop, a bunch of storage, and um, our kitchen sink, beautiful faucet, which took way longer to get here than it should have but you know it looks amazing so all good and original overhead cabinets here too we thought about taking them out but extra storage is always a good thing and then here we have our super long countertop and storage and the fridge here and um this cabinet here was actually part of the shower before but we thought we don't really need a big shower so we took it out and um just made um a cabinet for hanging clothes and whatnot and for extra storage oh uh, yeah actually this thing pulls out too i think it does yes it does anyway hard to do with one hand but it pulls out okay really i swear it does okay that door's gotta be open all the way here you go it pulls out so you can use it as a workstation or an extra countertop or anything you want. Pretty cool, hey? And then over here, we have the wet bath, which literally means you can get everything wet in it. And uh, yeah, it's super functional. Really great. It's a nice shower there, which matches all the stuff even in the kitchen. And even these funky door handles and stuff I got. And then here we have the beautiful, beautiful bed, which is a California King. And if you could see me making it, you would laugh because you have to tuck and jump, tuck and jump, because you have to be on the bed while making the bed. So yeah, it's quite, quite the fun adventure to make the bed. And then that's it really. That's the end of the tour. But um, yeah, super functional and really pretty to look at. Something else I forgot to point out was um, the light system in here. You can see it above there um, on the ceiling and then the lamp. And then it also goes down underneath here, all in the back as well, but I have the back turned off right now. And um, underneath here, but it provides a lot of light it's really nice, especially at nighttime. And then if you really wanted to get fancy, this panel here um, makes makes it so you can do a whole bunch of different colors. Not that we would use them too often, but you know, nice option to have, I suppose. But I think the white looks the nicest. And yeah, super nice. Morning, everybody. Um, I am... Uh... I just thought I'd 
connect with you. I'm starting to build the second tent pad. And uh, so I ordered pretty much the same amount of lumber and the same amount of bricks, which I'm gonna have to likely haul out of them in. 50 pounds each, I've got 40 of them. <laughs> it's a lot of weight, good CrossFit workout. So I just wanted to show you, um, I'm not gonna show you the whole build because that's boring. And I already did it once in one of the previous episodes. And, um, but it's a really cool spot. So I remember in, I think it was the second episode, I talked about the spot up in the hill and we found a better spot. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's in here, I was able to get the tractor and I had to cover a creek, some old dead logs. And then I cleared out this entire area and leveled it somewhat. I'm gonna have one end of the deck elevated higher than the other to make sure that it's level because it's not fully level ground. But I used old Betty Lou here, which by the way is the name we're giving our tractor. It is a she. Betty Lou is the nickname we gave Dawn's mom. She loved it. She's passed away, unfortunately, but um, she's here with us to give us a helping hand whenever we need it. And we certainly needed it here. This would have taken a long time to do with a shovel. So thanks, Betty Lou. Um, but this site is just tucked away in the trees. We're gonna call it the forest tent or something along those lines, but all the way around is surrounded by beautiful trees.